Hello, Lillas. So, welcome to my channel. And today you are watching Baby Nima. Baby Nima is the second silicone baby that I've ever painted in life. So, she is not absolutely perfect. But she was my second baby. I learned a lot more from her as I painted her for the second... Well, the first baby I painted once and I did great the second time. I went back and repainted that, that first baby and then I messed up the matting and then um, I painted Nima and I absolutely love Nima. I wanted to go back and do more because I felt like I stopped too soon on her and I felt like I could stand to paint on her some more. But I've decided that I'm not going to do that because I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm really afraid that I'm going to go back and then do something. And then I'm not going to like her at all. So, I mean, like everything else, there are things that you cannot see on camera. Um, so when I say she's not perfect... Um, you guys have to trust me. She's not, um, it's, you know, the camera smooths everything out and stuff like that. So it makes, it makes them almost like you can make them look perfect on the camera sometimes. She has a few little shine spots, but not a lot. Um... And the camera may make her look a little bit more red than what um, than what she is. But, like I said, she's going to get some hair. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and get her rooted. Um, I mean, she would just be what you would consider. You know, some people may say she's a boo-boo baby type thing. I don't know. That's what I would call her. Um... This may change after this video because as I'm looking at her, I'm like, eh, I don't know, I may just do, I really, it's really, I want to balance her color out a little bit more, like, I just want to, I feel like she needs another coat or something of painting, so I don't know. I, I say I'm going to, I'm going to leave her and then, you know, I'm looking at her now again and I'm like, mm, she needs to be. She needs, she needs to be, I need to try again some more. So I think I might, now that I'm looking at her, I think I might just do just a little bit more. I'm just going to take my time and not overdo it. So yeah. Yeah, definitely. She's definitely going to have to. Um, Definitely gonna have to get some more paint work done. Silicone is so fickle. Like it's it's a funny medium. Um and it's so many tricks to painting the silicone. And I just, you know, I like it a lot, but it's very risky for the amount of money that you have to pay for the supplies and everything that goes into painting it. I don't know that there will be ever my thing that I do all the time. I definitely will paint for myself. I definitely will paint silicone babies for myself. Um, but for other people, I don't think that I will necessarily. Um, maybe close friends in the community that I know are not gonna, you know, expect me to be paint like a superstar already uh, I might would have you know done that but it's 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 a bit much <laughs> so like I said I'm, I'm going I'm probably you know just that quick I've changed my mind I'm gonna work on her I keep saying I'm gonna work on her and then you know I just don't have the time and when you start on silicone because everything is like a time process it's not like the reborns I can start and then stop. I have to set the area up. She has to be cleaned very, very well, especially since she's been played with. She has to be really, really clean. 
she has to have a lot of space. I have a lot. I have to have a lot of working space. I can't work on my reborns and her at the same time. Like she will have to have all my attention. And so I'm going to I'm going to try to do that. I may actually what's to tomorrow um I may start. Um today and yesterday I had to go visit my um check on my grandparents and I'll probably be doing that again today. So um I'm thinking tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and get her all cleaned up and bathed up and put in the incubator. That's what I call it. Um, to keep any lint and dust getting on her. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, get her, her painted some more. And then I'll mat her. But, and then I'll send her to my friend to be rooted. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, someone asked you know what the difference in you know is it a difference in how long the painting on silicone babies and reborns you know how long who which one lasts the longest you know stuff of that nature and i'll be honest with you um so far the longest i've had a baby in my personal collection is two years um Puck's been in my collection for two years and he's not missing any pain, any hair. He's, you know, just as perfect as he was when I got him. And that could, you know, that could change. But as for now, I don't see it looking like it's going to change. So, um, I honestly believe that a lot of how long these uh dolls last is how well they're taken care of number one how well they are made um the quality of the doll like how the paint been cured because despite my gripes about you know my complaints about my work um i will say as much as i've changed nema in and out and um the little one that I painted, they haven't lost any paint. And sometimes, like, I remember trying to get paint off because I wanted to do it differently. And it, you can't, it's hard to get it off. So when I see people saying that the paint just came off, that tells me that it wasn't cured properly. And I'm not an expert, but just from my first two encounters, I just feel like that's, that's what that, that means. Um... So for me, I feel like the the silicone baby's paint will stay intact as long as the reborns. Um, I've seen reborns that, you know, have paint issues just as well. But also the difference, I think, is the matting on the um, silicones will not probably last as long as the reborns, depending on how, again, the interaction with the owner because like I said puck matting and everything is still intact 100% and it's been two years and everybody knows he's been changed um, a, quite a bit um, but if they're matted really well I think they will last you know for a long time but the paint itself I don't see that paint coming off like you know, I don't see that that paint coming off like um, easy on the silicone. So, to me, I think silicone will last just as long as reborns. That's my honest opinion. I've had other people I've talked to, um, people that have been dealing with silicone forever and have dolls that they've had for a very long time and they're still intact, they're still good. Um, even the ones with the drinking wet, they got them. They don't have no mold in them and all that stuff. Um, you guys may have missed a lot of key information when I did a live stream. And I was speaking about uh, Melissa McCoy, which is the first person who actually made a silicone baby in platinum silicone. Um, before her was, um, oh my God, shoot. 
Now I'm, I'm going brain dead. Before her, there was another lady. She's in Florida. Um, gosh, I can't. It's right on the top of my tongue, and I can't think of it right now. But anyway, she made um, silicone in the other, not platinum, but um, the one that fall apart after a while. Uh, my brain. Anyway, nevertheless, so I've talked to them and, well, not them, but I talked to the, the one that did the first platinum silicone uh, baby. And um, she's she's had them and she's had them for a very long time and um, nothing's happen, happened to them. Also, I've talked to other silicone artists who also collect and have old dolls that's still sitting and just fine. Um, just a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff too, like you hear like, oh, the you know, the the um, disposable diapers, don't leave them on them. I know people that have dolls that's been sitting and packed away for a long time and they're in disposable diapers and nothing happened. So a lot of stuff that you hear is like, you know, you know, sometime maybe it was an isolated incident where maybe they had a cheap diaper on and it got wet and, you know, or it was damp or moisture or something. I don't know. And it just, it messed up something or something. I don't know. But a lot of times we hear these stories about especially silicone and it scares people half to death and it's not really necessarily true or applied to all babies. Yes, babies lose paint. Yes. The matting goes away yes they peel yes you know all these different things because everybody handles them differently everybody does them differently but when you do them properly I think that it will last and you know so uh, yeah so that's that but anyway guys I am going to go i've just realized like after i got her dress i'm like oh she's so sweet i love i really love nima um i just want i just want to read i want to paint on her some more and i but i don't want to mess her up so i think that's what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna paint on her some more i wish i could get closer so you guys can see. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Let's try to move this light so it's not too, too bright on her. So you can see, see. But, so like, trying to show you guys where, oh, I done took that off. Well. Never mind. Let's see. There's her leg. See, like, it, I feel like I could do more paint on her to even her out more. That's what I'm talking about. Um, like, you know, it's like little things. Um, like right here is a streak of paint. Let me see. If you see that, see that? That little line right there? That's like uneven paint. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, my painting is definitely not perfect on her. But I, I really like the general idea of where it was going. And I like the, the skin tone. So... You know, it's just some more things that I learned, like I said, along the way. But I think she she came out great considering she was only my second baby. So I'm really, I'm really pleased with her. And, um, you know, she, like I said, I really enjoy having her, dressing her and stuff like that. She's, she's a real cuddle bug. And she has the thicker armatures. And I really like them. I like the thicker armatures. But, you know, she's a good, she's a good baby. So, I don't show her that much, um, but I did want to show her for you guys today. 
So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.